Good morning, everybody. It's 10 o'clock, and so now we welcome Simon in St. Nicholas Church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Good morning, everyone, and um, a very warm welcome to this spiritual communion in which we receive Christ, not just through bread and wine, but through his very presence with each one of us, meeting us at our deepest point of need. We continue the service with a moment's silence in which we bring into our hearts and minds the ways in which we have found to be the people that God calls each one of us to be. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration, we may think those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding, may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Wendy will now read to us the Gospel reading of the day. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark, chapter Chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was in the temple, having been questioned by the chief priests, Pharisees and Sadducees about his authority, payment of taxes and the resurrection. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another and seeing that he answered them well, he asked him, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is this, 
Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbour as oneself, this is much more important than all hold burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Wendy. Sue will now lead us in our prayers. Holy Spirit, come upon us, come around us, come within us, come to lead us, come to guide us, that we may work in your power and rest in your presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Father, one God forever. Amen. Holy Spirit, giver of all good gifts, Come into our darkness as light. Come as the wind to refresh us and uplift us. Come as joy to disperse our sorrows. Come as power to enable us and encourage us. Come as love and revive your church. That we may show and share your gifts, especially in this time of coronavirus. Teach us, we pray, new ways of being your church. May we remember that your church is your people, not the buildings in which we worship. May we be your hands and feet and reach out in love through your grace. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Come, Holy Spirit. Direct our rulers. Please fill our national leaders with integrity and discernment. May they have the humility to listen to opinions and guidance, even when it isn't what they want to hear. May they have the courage to take difficult decisions, guided by the desire to care for everyone, but especially the weakest. May they be flexible enough to change their plans when guidance recommends this. And please, Lord, give them advisors with the courage to challenge easy options and with the wisdom and training to give good scientific advice. May our leaders and their advisors seek to work alongside leaders and scientists from all nations so that worldwide solutions can be found and implemented. Come, Spirit of God, give peace and unity to the nations. Come, renew the face of the earth. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our homes and community. Set our hearts on fire with the warmth of your love. Come stir our minds and inspire us to do new things. May we take the opportunities to learn from this time. Help us to have the courage to make changes in old patterns. Guide us in our relationships with each other and help us to encourage each other to have the courage to change. And continue to draw us together in your fellowship of love and joy. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. 
We come with all who are weary, all whose hope has dried up. We come with the despairing, the despondent, and all who are dispirited, with depressed and oppressed peoples. We pray for all who have become weak, for all who are infirm and cannot cope on their own. O Spirit of God, stir up your power and come among us. We name before you those who've asked for our prayers at this time. Jennifer Durden, Christopher Brown, Melanie Leader, David Heslop, Linda Woods, Jenny Durrant, and any known to ourselves. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Spirit of God, you breathe life into dry bones and give new life to your people. We pray for those who have recently died and we pray for their families that they may be reassured that those who they have loved are now in your presence. And we pray for them in their grief that they may know you alongside them. They may have the opportunities to share good memories with families and friends, even if they can't meet up with them. We pray, Lord, that you will be their comfort and peace at this time. We particularly remember the families of Nora Gunston, Fiona Hesse, Eddie Elford, and Angela Morell. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. <laughs> and finally, we pray for ourselves. Holy Father, fill us with the Holy Spirit, the power of the living God. Guide us by the Holy Spirit, the giver of light and life. Strengthen us through the Holy Spirit, the fire of love. Let your spirit come upon us and change us and all your faithful people that we may live and work to your praise and glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Sue. We now come to the time to share the peace uh, with one another, knowing that we cannot do this in one another's presence, but also knowing that uh, when we seek to share the peace with each other, we can pray for God's blessing on one another. So in a moment's silence, um, I encourage you to bring into your uh, hearts and minds uh, each other, but also perhaps one person or one situation in particular that we want God's peace to be poured out upon. Christ is our peace. We trust <coughs> God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made. They will become for us the bread of life and the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. 
Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave me thanks. He gave it to them, saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours. Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, we pray to our Heavenly Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body. 
because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Body of Christ broken for you. Blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Blood of Christ shed for you. Gracious God, lover of all, in this sacrament, we are one family in Christ your Son, one in the sharing of his body and blood, and one in the communion of his spirit. Help us to grow in love for one another and come to the full maturity of the body of Christ. We make our prayer through your Son, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. And so with thankful hearts, we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all whom you love, now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.
done so lovely prayers. Yes, beautiful prayers. Well, thank you for being our voice. It's lovely. It really is um, lovely hearing somebody praying on sort of behalf of all of us. It's uh, it it, it, make, it makes it feel real to me. Yeah. But they were beautiful. You picked up just the right feel, particularly when you prayed for the government. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I should pray for the media. <laughs> <laughs> and, forgive me, and forgive me for my thoughts about the media. Oh, they <laughs> <laughs> and, and Peter, you do, do so brilliantly with the camera. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Thank you, Peter, for the camera. Uh, yes, uh, the programme cut halfway through. <laughs> ah. I had to restart it, but it was okay. <laughs> That's why, was, that's why there was a gap early on. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. And, and how are the Tamars? Yeah, oh, muted. How can you see? Oh, we've got all of them. Haven't got Jennifer, and we haven't got Jan on photo yet. They haven't clicked their video camera. Rose, more oh, oh, Simon. Oh, yeah. Top right, yeah. Ross. You, you yeah. get the gallery. I've got it now. Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. who's there? Can you see? Can you see all of us? I can't. Oh, you're so <laughs> top, top right, gallery view. Oh, well, I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> Your hair's got long, yeah. Gina. Oh, I know. I don't know what to do with it. Going bonkers. Good. <laughs> well, we'll let Simon have a go. I, I offered several times. She won't let me touch it. <laughs> no, I've got sure. a hedge trimmer I could leave on your doorstep. <laughs> I need a, I think I need a scrub cutter. <laughs> <laughs> got one of those. <laughs> 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 